Hi guys, I'm Diana here, back to Hoodstead. And today I want to try something that that 1870s homestead posted on her Instagram about squash leaves being edible. Which is amazing because we have so many and they're supposed to be so nutrient dense and we, I had no idea. So what I'm going to try, these are actually pumpkin leaves and I got big ones and little ones because I want to try out, um, some people say you want to get the youngest tender ones but we have so many big ones that I just want to try it out and see what I'm And then they also recommend to peel the little spines off the stem and the ones right here. But other people say that you could just go ahead and cook them and in the cooking process they get soft. So I'm going to try doing that because it's going to be a pain in the butt to go and try to peel it off. I've got some chopped onion and garlic from our garden that I'm going to saute. And I'm going to start preparing these leaves, just cutting them up into... I'm thinking I'm going to roll them and then just slice them. So now I've got my stuff cut up and it's not it's not anything special, it's just the garlic and the onions and then the squash all cut into little shreds. I'm gonna put some olive oil in my pan. I'm gonna dump my onions in there. My stuff crispy, so we're gonna let this fry pretty good. It's strong, huh? These onions, it's just it's just the greens, and they are so strong. They're from the garden. They're so strong. They will stink up the entire house. It's so delicious. Okay, so we've got our onions nice and some of them are burnt and crispy like they like, and some of them are. So now, I'm going to dump in these, these greens, pumpkin greens. I've got this stove on as high as it goes because, like I said, I like my greens and my stove fries nice and um, I like little burnt ends and stuff. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover it to get those greens. In a little bit. So I'm just going to wait for this to happen. I'm going to uncover it and stir it a few times and then I'll come back with the plated and we'll try it. So I'm just going to add a little bit more oil. It's olive oil so it's good for you. Especially if you do something like keto. Just your cloves, your good fats. on everything. And I'm gonna put some Redmond's real salt. This, this isn't what it is. I just put it inside this container because it comes in this. And I got this on Amazon and it's American made. It's, it's um, mined in America in Utah. And it has all, it's much better than regular salt because it has so many nutrients. 
and it's delicious. And you guys can probably not cook it as much as I am. I like my stuff crispy and, and burnt. I'll turn this off now. nothing left. Now I'm going to make some more. I'll grab my chicken. And this chicken, is just, it's just um, the uh, thighs with the skin and bone. And I just make, I never take stuff out of the freezer in time, so um, I never get to thaw it in time. I'm always running in a hurry. So what I do is I take a knife and I just cut into it on both sides. And I set it to fry in the oil. And then the juices all come out of it because it's thawing while it's frying. And that gives it this really nice crispy spot. And there's no flour or nothing on this. It's just a big chicken pork rind, basically. So I'm gonna try these here boots. Oh, it's gonna be funny if the little spines get me. That is good. Um, there's no pricklies, which I'm glad. There's no pricklies. It pretty much got all the flavor of the onions and the garlic. Um, it does have, I can see why they say to get the young leaves because they're more tender. Because the texture of it, I mean, it almost, you guys know the squash leaves and uh, pumpkin leaves have almost feel like if they're like velvet almost. And you can feel that, you can taste that in, on your tongue, you can feel that texture. But it's not off-putting at all. It's really delicious. And all I need to know, or all I needed to know, was all the nutrients that it has in it. It's high in niacin and I don't know what other stuff. And that's what I look for. One more thing to eat out of the garden that's not getting thrown away. I even gave the chicken some. And it's just waste not, want not. So thank you. I hope you try this. It's really good for you. And let me know in the comments if you've tried it and, how, and if you liked it. Thank you. Thank you.